Hello, Diargos here. Welcome back to my Factorio series, The Manhattan Project. Okay, I'm just dragging this oil line over here so that we can do some real basic oil processing. Let's see. I know I wanted this general area because I want to be able to tap copper and iron if I need it. Um, I think I probably get away with just doing it down here. Not a whole lot of space though, um, but I could move that line up, kind of just curve it around and give myself more space in this area. Now I know that the ratios have changed for uh, the refining. So let's see if I had like just a few, I really just don't need to, like too much going on here, right? Let's see if I can squeeze this together. Let's try three. So I've only got basic oil processing right now. Um, I think it's the right is the oil. Well, I'm probably not going to, I don't know if I'm going to be able to actually get to advanced cracking. Um, so I don't know if I need to really worry about it like that. I was going to say that because water, if I switch this over to advanced, then water will be on the left, I believe. Okay, so these need power. How are we doing on power? Hello. All right. So now we've got the outputs here. We've got petroleum, gas, light, and heavy oil. And something I think is true, but I'm not 100% certain on this, is I believe that no longer can you use steam engines as a um, as a dump for fluids. So like, like let's say from here I just wanted, I, this is not how I want it right now, but let's say I, I just want petroleum gas, right? And I didn't want, I didn't care about heavy or light oil. And let's also say that I didn't really want to set up cracking for them in this setup. Um, then what I could do to keep this producing, uh, all three of these components because you see if they get backed up then it just stops if just one of them gets backed up what I could do is I could pipe them into uh, a steam engine and that steam engine would consume it just like it would consume water and since it's consuming it it I'm, I'm wasting it but it's nice or it was nice because you didn't have to worry about your stuff getting backed up if if something was getting um, overproduced or underproduced you don't have to worry about balancing them. And I don't think that that is true any longer. <clears throat> oh, I need to go out one more. I'm just doing this really quick basic setup here with the double. Man, there's like no light. Let me put some light down. There we go. Much better. Um, yeah, with these little T-junctions here. Okay. All right. Um, and now we can plop some other stuff down. Put this like right here. Give us some space. Okay. I know that I want, I'm going to want a uh, flamethrower. And I just remembered that I, I'm not researching it because I don't have military science. And I was going to hook up the lamp. Oh, so much, so much to do in this, these new new changes I, I, I I'm being thrown for a loop here okay um, we said that we needed coal iron copper and steel and iron gears right well let's let's just go over here we can draw that down we have little science packs now I don't need I can just pull from right here actually because I don't need um, I don't need green circuits, so it's okay. Here. <clears throat> All right. So I need to use that. And then armored rounds right here. And they also need steel and copper. Okay. So we'll have a line for that. Okay. And I think we'll probably have to share some lines like steel, copper on this one, and then coal and iron on the other one. And I can grab coal. Where's the best way to grab coal? And I could grab it right there. 
It's a little busy. I think I'll grab it from up here. Now remember, this is a starter base, right? So it's okay to do silly things like this because uh, we're going to recycle everything here anyway, right? All right. Something like that. Actually, let's save some space. I think I might need to use that space there. Okay. You're just in the way. Hmm. I think that's all right. Okay, so we'll have coal and let's do let's do steel and iron on one. I think because they're kind of together, right? So steel and iron can be right here. Right here, right? So iron will come like that, and steel can come right there. Oops. <clears throat> okay. And. That. Go. All right. All right, so that's our steel and iron line. Okay. Actually, let me pull that down a little bit because I, I might need to make some room here. Um, for copper, we want copper to come in. There's coal, right? So if this is the coal and copper line, And we can do it like that. All right. And I guess copper can come in right there. Oop, come on. Okay. There we go. And then steel can come in like that. Okay, I think that's good. Um, you need some red dudes. I need some more of these, I think. Let me go grab them. Where are we? Oh. Okay. Um, we just need iron for that, right? Yep. And you need iron and steel, so we'll need a long-handed and a fast inserter and over one so we can do that all right to deal with power okay so I've got that and remember we need to actually make these into packs right which require three ingredients. Dang. Okay, let me think how I wanna... I could have these being inserted directly, like so, right? That's the pack right there. But that means I have to draw on the other ones. Like, I, I can only do... Oh. I could do something kind of sneaky like this, just to get it going. Um, that'd be kind of cool. Let's get some lights. So, like, that would be gun turret. Yeah. Or can, yeah, I think maybe this one should be the gun turret one because. It needs iron gears, and this one, grenades only need stuff right off these two lines. So that might be easier. Okay. So we'll go like that. 
And you need copper, so... Okay. Okay, let's try this. This is gonna work, I think. <clears throat> and since it's... Um, I don't want to use a long-handed. I'd rather use a fast inserter because it's iron gear iron gear wheels and they uh they need a lot okay so that's working oh and i need long-handed how many does it need 20 i'm gonna put down a second long-handed to help out all right how, how long do they take eight seconds and they need 20 and long handeds are half a second or one second? I think they're half a second. Half a second. So that means that in eight seconds, they will move 16. One will move 16. So you want, so that means that one long handed would not be able to keep up with this. It would be, a, there'd be a slight delay each time. But if I put down two, it's more than enough. But then again, there could be a delay from Looks like it's fine. Okay, so for the grenades, here's the tricky part, right? We need to get iron and... Dang. I wish I could bind these a little differently. That way I could only route... Reroute one. Dang, dang, dang. Dang, dang, double dang. Okay, it's almost worth it, I think, to... <laughs> to change these up. Let's get... How can I get coal and iron into one line? Oh man. Did not think that through well enough, I think. Let me... Let me cut these off. Okay. Let's just clean this up. I, I want to do that. I want to do that. I think it's worth it. Because then I don't have to reroute two lines. I can just do one. Oh goodness. So full of stuff. I, I can get rid of that. Right here. Okay, what needs to get dumped? Just temporarily, right here, until I can plop it somewhere. Let's get rid of that. Couple of these, okay. Don't need that. All right. Okay, so what am I trying to do here? I want... Ah, what a mess. That's all right. So that's as easy enough to get copper, or to get iron, I mean, up here with coal, right? Except, <laughs> I did it again. I would rather have it, I would rather have it on this bottom line so I can move it out. Okay. Um, so that means copper and steel need to go up there. Let's just let's just do this right. Let's not let's not mess around. It's not messing around. Okay. Put everything back. Now, iron will need to come. Hmm. Okay, we can do that. Okay, so it just occurred to me that I really don't need to... I don't have to split them, right? I can do... Can do it like this. So that will be iron. Right? There. And we can do steel. Copper. Okay, so copper will come through right there okay and 
and man, this is this is why you don't use the bus like this. You have to have two spaces. It just makes it a little bit harder to cut stuff off. That's all right. That's why it's a mini base. Um, so I need to get steel up there. So I'm just gonna do it like this, so I don't have to worry too much about that. <clears throat> um, we will break here. There we go. That should do it. Um, actually, I just need to put one right there. All right. <clears throat> okay. Oof. Oh. So now all I have to do here. Oops, I did it. I'll do it right here just to kind of keep it out of the. It, it doesn't really matter, but um, what I'm doing is this. A little bit of that. A little bit of that. Okay. Great. So now that's getting made. Oh, this takes forever. Oh my goodness. Eight seconds. Whew. Um, well, it's only one grenade, so that's not too bad. One of each. It's going to take eight seconds. But here's the, here's the rub, right? These all take eight seconds. This one doesn't take... It takes like three seconds. But it only needs one of those. So it's, it's still eight seconds because of the, the grenade or the turret. But it's 10 seconds to produce the two packs. It is two, but still it's 10 seconds to complete a cycle, which means these will overproduce eventually. Like you'll have a backlog here. And it'll just be like, kind of like this one is just waiting. So it's not a perfect ratio, but now I can output it over here. Interesting. All right. Kind of going a little, so I wanted my second base to not, I wanted my first base to only deal with red and green science, but not quite there yet. Which means, I need to think about how I want to do this. And I have an idea. I have, Pretty decent idea. I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that these science labs you can pass through the um, the packs, right? Like you would with boilers in 0.14. Well, let's, I'll just leave that for now. So what I'm gonna do? Pick these all up. And we will place them like so. I'm gonna space them. I'm not sure if I actually need to space them, but I'm going to just so I have a little extra room to play with if I want. All right. Okay, and then we pick these up. All that up too, and these don't need that anymore. <clears throat> All right, now I think this will work. That, and then we need long handed for the. Our side and we need to power everything. Let's see if this works. Okay, so you can see that these are already getting science packs. It is working. That's great. And I have room for um, lights and whatnots. Okay. I guess we could make a couple more to keep it symmetric. And for this line, I'll just put it all the way down here. 
Okay. All right. Cool. So yeah, there's there's definitely a more efficient way to make this because right here, if I wanted to make a second, because I only have one here, I've got two up there. This is such a low number, by the way, guys. If you're if you're making like a more permanent base, don't do it like this. You want to have like a better ratio, like at least seven reds, you know. And I usually do 20 science labs, and they go really fast if you do that. And I think around seven reds and, like, I don't remember the exact numbers anymore, t nine or 12 green packs. That's, that was in point one four too. That would, for the most part, uh, they'd be able to keep up with 20 labs. Maybe 18 labs would be, get you, would be getting used at some point. But, um, yeah, you'd be researching like crazy. This is not at all balanced, but it's gonna get me my flamethrower, which is really what I care about. Okay, we, we are getting close to the end of this episode, but just a couple more minutes, maybe another minute or two. So let me just kind of come back down here and think about what I'm doing. So I only have basic um, cracking if I wanted to do, uh, oh, I only have basic processing, I don't have cracking. But I can create sulfuric acid and sulfur, and more importantly, lubricant. And um, right now, I don't have the military one because I think, yeah. So I, 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 this is not a this is a cut through um, technology, right? That doesn't actually give you anything. But here, I'll be able to produce flamer fuel, and then that'll show up here. Okay, so what the first thing I'd have to do is is create lubricant and um, flame refuel from my heavy and light oil, and then I can make um, sulfur and sulfuric acid with iron and stuff like that. So I'm going to do that in the next episode. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.